Buildings of all kinds are clad using board materials in a system of ventilated suspended facades. With this fully fledged alternative to the contact insulation systems, a casing can be created with an attractive appearance, long life, and high performance properties. There's a very wide range of these materials on the market with different color and texture patterns, and among them belongs Cetrus, cement bonded particle boards at a reasonable cost. Facades from Cetrus are suitable not only for new buildings, but also for the renovation of existing ones. Cetrus cement bonded particle board is a facade cladding using a suspended ventilated system. As a support structure, an auxiliary grid must be used. The grid can be made from wooden lathes or from system profiles out of galvanized steel or aluminum. If a metal structure is used, the support anchors are fitted in the first step. They are anchored to the existing peripheral wall. Due to different settings, anchors can successfully level uneven surfaces. The vertical distance between the anchors is based on static calculation, which reflects primarily the base load capacity and the weight of the boards. The horizontal anchor distance corresponds with the recommended spacing of mounting of the supports for Cetrus boards. After completing the installation of the supporting anchors, the insulation boards are laid. For the system of ventilated facades, it's most suitable to use mineral insulation with low diffusion resistance, hydrophobicized throughout its cross section. The attachment of insulation boards is done through anchor plates. The number of anchors is specified by the insulation manufacturer. To maximize the efficiency and lifetime of insulating boards, we recommend protecting them with a protective foil. This foil prevents dirt from entering into the boards and reduces thermal loss caused by the airflow between the insulation and the ventilated space. It also helps to reduce the energy needs of the building. In place of the supporting anchors, there's a broken foil sealed with sealing tape. Before assembling of the bearing vertical profiles, it's necessary to set out the horizontal datum level. Due to thermal expansion, the maximum length of base metal profiles is limited to 3,350 millimeters. Individual profiles must be dilated, always in the place of dilation between the Tetris boards. It's not possible to attach Tetris boards to two different load-bearing grids. After the grid is installed, the Tetris boards are laid. The board manufacturer, Cidem Hranice, is able to deliver the boards cut to desired size with pre-drilled holes and rounded edges. In the Vario system, the boards are always laid so that the vertical and horizontal gap of a minimum width of 5 mm is granted. When using 3,350 mm sizes, the maximum width of the gap is 10 mm. In facade design, the most commonly used uniform width of the joint is 10 mm, regardless of the formats. Tetris boards are fixed to the auxiliary profiles with screws or rivets. When riveting, we have to first define the position of the board on the facade and then pre-drill the profile. The board is at first always fixed in the so-called fixed point, the point where the board is pre-drilled only in diameter of the screw or rivet. This point is typically located in the middle of the board, then follows anchoring of the flexible points. Pre-drilled holes of the flexible points are always bigger, 8 or 10 millimeters, according to the size of the Tetris boards. In terms of riveting, we must find the flexible joint using a bellows spacer with a distance of approximately 1 millimeter. When tightening the screws, the torque must be carefully adjusted to prevent deformation of the screw washer or of the Tetris board itself. Finally, the plate is fixed to the corners. When choosing the size of the Tetris boards with respect to the final appearance of the facade, the manufacturer is limited only by the maximum format of the board, which is 1250 by by 3,350 millimeters. Thanks to modern machinery, it's also possible to supply boards in irregular formats, including cutouts, slants, and the like. For cladding, it's possible to use different types of Tetris boards in different colors and structures. A ventilated facade made of Tetris boards is a modern solution with high utility properties. Tetris cement particle board is classified as A2 for its flame resistance. This classification is valid for all types and thicknesses of the boards. 
In the case of Tetris boards with surface treatment, the index of the surface spread of flame is zero. Tetris boards have a warranty of 15 years, however their lifetime is significantly higher. Incorrect dilation of the base grid in the Tetris board. The profiles must always be properly dilated at the place of the joints between the Tetris boards. Insufficient pre-drilling of Tetris boards, only in diameter, which corresponds to the diameter of the screw. Pre-drilling of the flexible points must be done with a diameter of 8 or 10 millimeters. Insufficient distance of the edge to the used screws, only 15 to 20 millimeters. The proper distance is 30 to 70 millimeters. Insufficient anchoring of the Tetris boards. It's fixed only locally along its perimeter without fixing it in the surface. The wrong type of screw without the EPDM washer 